Hello, everyone, and a pleasant day to you. Once again, welcome. And today, I will be elucidating the difference between human act and acts of man, or human action and actions of man. So why is this important? Because in the study of, of ethics, we defined ethics in our previous episode as the science of the morality of human action. So it studies or deals with human action. So it's essential to define and distinguish human action or human act from act of man or acts of man. So what is a human act? A human act is a human choice and action or decision that is conscious, meaning the doer or the agent is conscious, is aware of what he's doing, knowledgeable with intent, with consent. It is voluntary and it is free, meaning without coercion or influence of an external force. And on the contrary, human actions are, rather acts of man are the contrary or the opposite or the antonym of human acts or human action. Because acts of man are actions that are not conscious or without consciousness. They are not intended. They are without knowledge. They are not voluntary or they are involuntary, not deliberate, and are not free. So, for example, what is an example of human acts? So if I say I'm talking right now, this is a human act because... My act of talking to you right now is something that I'm conscious of, something that I'm knowledgeable, that I intend, that I allow or I will, and it's free, meaning I, I do it out of free will. I'm not forced to do it or coerced to do it. On the contrary, acts of man are like actions that are not deliberate. For example, somnambulism or sleepwalking. There are people who walk while they are asleep, or they talk while they are asleep, or some of them are temporarily insane or are insane or are mentally impaired. So any actions that proceed from rational impairment or mental impairment are considered acts of man because they are not conscious, they are with no intention or consent, are not free. So that's the difference between human act and acts of man. Okay, more example. So if I accidentally step on the foot of a person while walking on the street, then that is an act of man because it's not intentional. It's just accidentally done. But if I intentionally step on a person's shoe or foot, then that becomes a human act. Another is I intentionally throw the ball out. So that is human act or human action. But if I in if accidentally I was able to hit the ball with my foot or arm and it went out of the window, then that's a human act. Now the question is why is it important to distinguish the two? First, this ethics as science deals only with human act. So it's not the concern of ethics to study acts of man. Second, the distinction is very important because human acts are with liability, whereas its opposite, the act of man, is without liability. Meaning, if the person does a human act, then one is liable, accountable, or imputable, or can be blamed and can be punished of the consequences of one's choice, action, or behavior. Whereas the acts of man, you are free from guilt, free from blame, and free from penalty because it is not intentionally done. It is not done out of consent and will. So that's the difference between human act and acts of man or act of man. So I hope you learned something in this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Click like and share and give your comments and feedback to help me improve my future videos. Once again, good day to all of you.